So you can go ahead about Russia again, if you like. I don't know if there's that much more to say. You know? oh. um, I would say it's a must read, but uh, I'm afraid a lot of people who actually need to read stuff like this would read it incorrectly or stuff like that. You know? mm. Oh, that was then, this is now, or, you know, they, they, uh, they really weren't as bad as portrayed here. Orlando mm. Figus is making stuff up. Yeah. Now I won't want to drink the coffee. Mm -hmm. It's there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so it goes. So that's good. Yeah. Anyway, it's almost like a must read. Read, read. Uh, I'm right now. I'm reading John Reed's uh, mm. glowing uh, description of the revolution, and it was, you know, he's a contemporary witness. He was a, not really a journalist, he was a fellow traveler. And ten days that shook the world. And, uh, yeah, with fear. And, uh, he, he, you know, like, uh, he wasn't able to predict the 70 years that'll shake the world with laughter. Because that's what followed. The communists are very good at winning wars, winning revolutions. But they're wonderful also at losing the peace. That's what they tend to do, lose the peace. So, you you know, so they like won one... the war in Vietnam. Five years later, they're in there having to ally with the Americans against the threat of the Chinese communists moving in on them. So that's, that's losing the peace pretty fast. <laughs> Amazingly stupid. Kick the Americans out, and then you have to ally with them five years later. Brilliant. Anyway, that's about all I got to say. All right. Um... The Greek salad was given to us, um, it came from Costco originally, but I made my own dressing just with olive oil, lemon juice, oregano and garlic. Way better. Their dressing tastes disgusting. Um, and James just wanted olive oil on his stuff. So. I like olive oil, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I like, used like to lemon. like, okay. I like lemon, but my, it, it doesn't like my system, right? So it chews me up now, now that I get GERD with the, with the cancer. So, hmm. so anyway, but I don't like oranges William. the way I used to. Yeah, it used right. to be automatic. I want one a day. Yeah. Now it's tough. Hmm. Oh, I don't well. like tomatoes as much as I used to because they really chew me up. Well, you don't have to eat them. You well, we can find other things. They're good for cancer. They're well, healthy in other ones. So, anyway. tomatoes, it still is. Um, our neighbor had just come over because she was scared because people were trying to break in her house last night. But Literally, she's not imagining. And so, no. yeah. I I heard them mm -hmm. causing a commotion. Well, the dogs. They tell me. Of course. Day. Anyway, but I heard them even without the dogs. But because they mm -hmm. were that loud. Mm -hmm. Um. In case any of you fellows that were making it. No, I kept the dogs in until mm -hmm. long after. Mm -hmm. Like, so, because I didn't want yep. the door open yep. while they were. Don't try breaking into our house. You'll get a welcome reception. <laughs> you won't know what hit you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, in a case couple you're of them, they'd be, they'd mm -hmm. definitely be chewing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not just the dogs. <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be a welcoming committee for me. I don't know about Pauline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even Paris, you know, she's an old girl, but mm -hmm. you know, she she'd hang on and shake. Mm -hmm. She's a she's a tough little number. Anyway. Yeah, it's funny, you know, people never really think about um, chihuahuas. They just think they're annoying or whatever. But we've heard multiple stories about chihuahuas taking on pit bulls to protect their um, the children or mm -hmm. their owners. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep, chihuahuas are loyal. I was just reading a book this morning about their characteristics. Extremely loyal. And loyal 
in bigger dogs is dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, well, German Shepherds. Boy. Mm -hmm. Very loyal. Mm -hmm. Very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Mm -hmm. yep. And I, that's why you don't hear too much about German Shepherds killing people because they're smart. Yeah. But there's a reason why they're used as police dogs. They're mm -hmm. smart, they're usually trainable. If you're a bad guy, or even a suspect, they're going to get a chomp of you. Yep. I actually had to clean up after it and things like that. Mm -hmm. Some person broke into the city hall. Oh, a sec. Soon janitoria. I had to clean up their butt. They brought out the police dog. Mm -hmm. and the police dog jo enjoyed it. The herd it bark. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, I kind of know dog barks now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there was quite a bit of blood. Too. Yeah. No, nope, dogs definitely enjoy the hunt. Yeah, so, no question about that. Yeah, and I understand. Just in case someone's watching, I know most people watching us are very nice people, but and not, not a nice person. We've got Chihuahua crosses. A couple of them are pretty big. You'd feel it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know that Africa would tear after people though. She'd hold on. And you know, uh, she just make a lot of noise. She's like tank. She'd hold on. And the thing is, she's got a huge amount of weight, so flesh oh, would come she's off. She's got to be about 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. Flesh would come off. They bite like pit bulls. They yeah, not. Tank was tiny. He was mm -hmm. five and a half on. pounds. You, mm -hmm. He'd get you here, and you'd, and you'd lift he'd him lift. right up. Mm -hmm. He would not let go. You'd be standing there for minutes, going, okay, when's he going to let go? Mm -hmm. 